guys, it's Kelsey, the program coordinator again. Today we're going to be making another recycled art project. So today we are going to make either tissue box or cereal box guitars that we will also use later on this month for a music activity. Here's what you need to make your guitar. You can use a, an old cereal box or a tissue box. You will need a paper towel tube if you want to put a neck on your guitar. You can use paint or markers to decorate your guitar. And then you'll also need a couple rubber bands. Um, you can use three to five. We're gonna use three today. And then you will also need scissors and some hot glue or regular glue, whatever you have at home. Go ahead and grab whatever box you're gonna use for the base of your guitar. So if you use a tissue box, you're going to either cut or rip out this plastic part right here that holds the tissues in, and then you'll have your hole already made for you. I'm going to be using a, tish, or a cereal box, and so if you are also using a cereal box, go ahead and grab a marker, draw however big you want the guitar hole to be. So I'm just going to make, eh, that looks good. <laughs> Um, and now we're going to cut out this circle in the cereal box. So take your scissors and gently poke a hole in the middle of the circle. And then you can cut out the circle, which will be the hole for your guitar. So now we have a hole in the middle of our guitar. Okay, once you've cut your hole in your cereal box or ripped out the plastic on your tissue box, go ahead and grab your rubber bands. We're just gonna use three today, but you can use three to five, depending on how many you want. So go ahead and just stretch these right over your cereal box or tissue box. And you can really place them in any direction you want. I'm gonna place mine long ways, but you could also place them this way if you want. All right, so now we have the strings on our guitar. The next step on our cereal box guitar um, is if you want to add a neck to your guitar, that's what we're gonna do next. You can skip this part if you want because you can easily just pick up your guitar and play it like this or sit it on the table and pluck the strings that way. Um, but we're gonna do this part just so I can show you how. You don't have to cut a hole in the box if you don't want to. If you have hot glue, it is easier to just make a circle and glue it on there. So that's what we're going to do today. But if you do need to cut a hole, if you're using a tissue box, you can cut the hole on this side of the tissue box. So there's the top, and then you can use this side or this side. And then what you would do is just draw a circle. You're going to trace this and then cut it out and then glue it right in there. But we're just going to use our hot glue and glue this to the bottom of the box. All right, we're going to let this dry and then we'll show you the last steps in a couple minutes. Now we have our finished guitar, we have our neck, we have our strings, now we're going to decorate. Um, so go ahead and grab any paint or markers that you want. I'm going to use this red marker to start. And you can color the front of your guitar, you can decorate the neck of your guitar. I'm going to put my name right on here. You can use stickers, you can use gems, glue, anything that you guys want. Make your guitar your own, make it unique and make it fun. Once you've finished decorating your guitar, you now have a super cool recycled instrument. Make sure that you guys follow along with our social media page because you will see a video 
um, where you'll use your instruments. So make sure you keep it around. Thank you guys so much again for joining us for this recycled art activity. And we'll see you guys again next time.